Hello, everybody. How are you? And what you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to show you my daily routine of how I supplement my life. And I'm going to show you what I eat for breakfast, <laughs> which is going to be surprised, which you're going to be surprised by is what I mean to say. And I thought it'd be cool to show you this because I do this for my health and because I think it's the right thing for me. Of course, you have to decide what's right for you. And I am by no means your doctor. So don't, don't go on that drift. Anything that you take, please consult your doctor. I, I'm just telling you what I do. And um, maybe you can learn from this. And maybe you can just be like, cool, I don't want to do any of this. Or you can be like, I tried it and it really works. And all your feedback really helps. So go ahead and put it down there and let me know what you think. You know where down there is, right? So let me tell you how I start my morning. So the first one is I start with probiotics on an empty stomach. And this one is a new one by Pendulum and it's called Ackermansia. And so this is a new strain of probiotic, which is new considering it just came out in like 2004, came out in the sense that it came out in a supplement because it's supposed to be in your belly and apparently it's supposed to be make up like 4% of your your intestinal bacteria in a healthy person. So a lot of us have what's called leaky gut, and I'm gonna do a super short, like 15 second explanation of leaky gut. What happens is inside of your intestines, there's supposed to be this mucus lining, but because of our diets, which are like low fiber, lots of other factors, we don't have that mucus lining. What happens when you don't have that lining? Then you have things that go directly into your bloodstream through your intestines, so that, that's why we have gluten allergies and different kinds of things that we see happening because our gut is leaking things into our bloodstream. So that's why we do things like take probiotics so that way we can start to build back our gut, help our gut to get healthy and so we can feel healthy. Um, and why do I want my gut to be healthy? Because I live with an autoimmune disease. Guess what? 80% of your immune system is in your gut. So this is super important for me to take different or probiotics. There's lots of ones that you can take. This is just what I take. I also take another one by um, Zymogen. I don't know how to say that. This is a X-Y-M-O-G-E-N. And I'm not hooked on phonics, apparently. Don't know how to say it, but this is what I take. I don't have the box with me right now when I'm on the road, but it comes in this little packet here. So I take these both in the morning on an empty stomach so that way nothing else is like interfering with those two doing their good work that they're supposed to do. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is my Happy Viking Superfood Strawberry Shake. So this is what I'll do afterwards and I take this on the court with me or to the gym with my shaker bottle. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. I don't know that we have much strawberry around and I'm so sorry for that. This one's my favorite, but we do have chocolate and vanilla and there's not much chocolate right now, but we're getting it all back. So hopefully this will all be in stock when you see this video. Otherwise we also have green colada, which is like pina colada, but with like a little green in it. So that way you can, you know, have your fun with your greens. So that's like my next step in the morning. On the court, what I'm using is this Hydrolyte and it's like tablets and you take it and you shh, effervescent in your water and so I use this actually in my matches too and so when I walk on the court you will notice now I take out my like sports drink which is my own like concoction and I take one tablet and drop it in that's how I start the match and then I go to talk to the umpire and try to win the toss so I can serve first <laughs> so there's that part Okay, so at the end of the day, nowadays is my routine, is I take my vitamins. I keep mine in this container called Fit and Healthy. I checked, they don't make this anymore, and Serena wanted one, so I actually found uh, like something different for her. Like, you know how arts and crafts are things that you can hold beads in? You can find one of those containers that has like an open like this, and what I like about this is when you travel with it, it won't spill. Now, I don't take a chance, I don't put it under the plane, I put it in my luggage, because the worst thing is when you, open your luggage and there's vitamins everywhere and you've had a vitamin bust up. So how I keep track is I put these little dots and I write it in pencil. And then I put 
in pencil like what each one is so that way if I want to change the container then I just erase it so I don't have to use a new dot. I'm trying to be resourceful. So what I've got here is this is my omega. I'm about out. And then in here I have my hyaluronic acid for my skin and then I have this little baby, this is Biosil for hair. And then this is magnesium. So I take those. And this one is my multivitamin, two of those. This one is Vision MD. I take these for my eyes. This one is zinc. And this is vitamin D. I take a bunch of that. You know why? Because vitamin D is actually a hormone. You know that? And olive leaf extract, this is a super powerf powerful antioxidant, actually really good for gut health too, antiviral. So if you wanna chase something out of your body and keep it out, this is a good one. Um, I use the one by Tonic because it has a really high allure pian. Don't know if I'm saying that right too, but it's spelled out right here. So you figure it out. It has a high level of that and I like that. And um, then I have my iron and my vitamin C and that's kind of what I take on a daily basis. And I almost credit this for less, is there no, there's no wood to not, not wood of not ever getting COVID yet. I like to think is because I'm on these vitamins. I'm on this every day. Okay, every day. Hey. So then at night, what I do is I have a gut repair shake and a friend of mine gave me this recipe it's called incidentally the acker acker mancia gut repair shake so you can find you know, put a link to this too you can find what the ingredients are to this but i go ahead and i take let me show you because i actually have it in a, another happy viking like when i was done with this then i put my my gut repair shake in there so you can see it's like green and that's from green tea powder and green tea powder is also like really good for your gut health too nice antioxidants in there as well and then it has all the other ingredients in there from the gut repair so it, it'll just be in the description box what's what's in here and what i do is i put that with water and i put that with cranberry juice which i'm almost out here so i need to order some more and then also pomegranate juice. And both of these are excellent for your gut health. And to be honest with you, if you have not done any of these things, you may start to feel great, but you may also start to feel a little gassy. So that's why it's important for me to take this at night so that way I'm not destroying anyone's evening or my own and you won't have any gas leaks in your home and you won't destroy your property value, all that stuff. And hopefully all this stuff happens at night while you sleep so you don't have to smell any of it. So that's a normal thing when you start to actually repair your gut and start to take probiotics and things like this is that there's this gas that's in your gut and it starts to like pump out, start, it starts to come out. So you have this gas in there and that's why you might have bloating, um, all these different things if you're experiencing that and we don't want the gas in there because it's hot and it's causing inflammation. So you'll, it starts to just come on out. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's the natural human thing and don't feel bad about it, but just don't make anybody else smell it. Enough on that. So how I end my evening is this is a new one too. My friend recommended this. Thank you, Jason. This is by Charlotte's Web and this is CBD uh, drops. And I do this for general inflammation. This one is mint chocolate. I have the lemon too. I prefer the, the mint chocolate. I think it's their most popular flavor. I have the gummies at home, but I did not take them on the road because I eat too many of them and I have no self-control when it comes to anything sweet. So these are not very sweet. So that's why I still have enough to get through like a week. Um, I usually, by the way, usually go for any organic version, any kind. So this is actually, I use this for inflammation to help my whole system because since I live with autoimmune disease, it's a disease of inflammation, right? So I'm just doing my best to have like, lots of energy. And taking this at night also is quite nice because you relax and you go to sleep really easily, but the recommend doses is like two or three drops. You know, it says a few times a day if you want to. Yeah, under the tongue, hold it for 30 seconds. I don't have enough discipline to hold it for 30 seconds. I'm like, Ugh, and I just swallow. 
but hopefully you have more discipline than I do. I always say discipline is courage. In order to be disciplined, you have to have courage to do the right thing. So I'm going to try to have more courage and get on and, you know, do the thing under the tongue. I really like this one, though. I've had really nice results with it so far. And that's pretty much my routine. But I don't. I want to leave the most important part to last. Harry gets the good stuff. So my little dog, Harold, Harry, Harold when he's in trouble, he eats primal freeze-dried nuggets at home. He eats the raw meat. I cannot travel with that. And I make him lamb chops, all the stuff. I have like, chicken in this fridge here for him. Although the other day he kept me up with the runs. I'm so sorry I've been talking about like all this horrible stuff, but he kept me up all night waking me up. He comes and wakes me up and he stands on my chest and he starts shaking. I'm like, not again. And all night. So it was almost like having a child. But Harry gets the good stuff. So this is Harry's routine every day. So if you have a dog, you can try this. I, I thought, especially the raw version of it, I thought, and my dog's 15 years old, I could see an immediate difference in like the density of his bones. So for dogs, I recommend a raw meat diet. I don't recommend you make it yourself. I'm too afraid to do that, because what if it's like, it has stuff in it, contaminated or whatever. I, I usually buy it or I cook him like some meat and I cook it rare because I just don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to kill my dog. So I have seen like my dog have really good health on this. And that is our routine. Let me get Harry so he can say hi. He's like, he's like sleeping all the time. I'm surprised he didn't get up like after I picked up the bag. Hi, monster. This is a monster. He just had a bath. So he looks innocent, but he is not. He's demanding. Say hi. You want some food? You hungry? So that is our routine. Me and Harry, every day, wherever we go, this travels very nicely with us. I order Instacart to get these wherever I am. If I'm traveling overseas, sometimes I'll bring it like in a bottle, like not a glass one, but like a plastic one already like tight, so that way I can have it with me. And I keep up that routine because I want to feel my best, I want to feel good, and also I want to be my best for when I play on the court. So nice seeing you guys this week. And let me know what you think. Let me know your routine, because maybe there's some stuff that I should be trying that I'm not trying. It's, it's definitely a lot like to keep yourself organized. That's why I always keep my, my vitamins already open, because opening 15 jars I know it's not hard, but it's, it could be something that slows you down from like doing what you're supposed to do. You don't have to take this many vitamins, but this, this routine works for me. So I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Say bye, Harry. He's not here. Sorry, guys. He's not going to say bye. <laughs> say, you say bye to mom. No? Okay. See you guys.